Hey guys, Adam here at DirectionTrader.com doing a daily uh, live training room results video for the 23rd of May. It is Thursday, the, um, the week before the Memorial Day weekend. So Today we started off looking at daily charts in the morning prep. And uh, what had happened here was I was talking about this big sell-off, obviously from yesterday. You guys are aware of this. And what happened here, we had this nice 30 point drop here, this is the ES. Um, I'm going to go over this for all the indexes. So We took, um, we took uh, trades today in the ES, the Russell, and the crude. So the ES and the Russell, this is going to apply to both of them. And the market had opened up right down in this area here. So it had already pushed down quite a bit in pre-market. And I was talking about in, in the, in the pre-market routine that, hey, let's wait for it to come up and retest these lows here. And if it does, we're going to look for, you know, we're going to look to go ahead and have it roll over and we'll start selling retracements all the way towards the downside and then maybe retest this rising uh, resistance, which came in right at the next support. So our, our whole idea of moving forward this morning was to just sit on our hands a little bit. If we could take a micro scalp to the upside, we were going to on a smaller time frame, but really we wanted to wait for this uh um, 1651 level to get retested not only is that the the yesterday's low but that's also um the same area of today's halfway back so you had the high to the low halfway back would have fell right in line with that so that we thought that would have been a great shorting opportunity so we were waiting we were patient enough to wait for that to actually happen and it proved to be uh, uh very profitable for us today um at that time, whenever we did get that pullback, guys, we had high to low on a longer time frame. It retested, it retested here, so high to low, and started to roll over. Now that, that pullback is right here. The same area applies to right here. So I didn't take the full swing of the larger time frame. I waited for the smaller time frame, the trading time frame with 233 ticks. I waited for the market to start selling off, and then I took a pullback on the micro, the 233 tick chart, to the downside. I did the exact same pattern as the long, here's the longer time frame pullback, but instead of uh, taking the, the, the large swing here, I just waited for a micro, a 233 pullback, and went in the exact same direction and ended up doing the same trade. So we went a short here. At about 647 uh, Pacific, and we took eight ticks out of the market to the downside. Not a bad setup, guys. We did the same thing later on in the Russell. Let me go ahead and move here to the Russell, and then we'll talk about the uh, the actual crew positions that we're taking today. Um, same thing applies. Look right here, guys. We had we had a high low and at the time it had a nice pullback here this pullback right here is in line with this pullback right here now you're going to see this one didn't continue like the es did the es came a little earlier but then this also this retest that we're taking this is where we took it on the es didn't quite get the follow through the the russell gave us a retest here and started to roll over retest and started to roll over now as it rolled down on high speed it had high speed, so I knew there was a lot of sellers that came in on this little push down right here. So as high speed came in, I waited for a pullback. So what do I have? I got a push down, a pullback, and now I'm looking to try sell it off. Instead of taking the full pullback on the larger time frame, I went over to the micro time frame, the 233 tick, and I took the exact same pattern in the direction, shorted of the longer term um, of a longer time frame uh, trade. So I took a micro and I ended up trailing it out. Uh, took the trade at 755 for 11 ticks, guys. Plus 11 and then plus 8 on the ES. We never got that follow through that we were looking for. The down, down, pushed right back down to them, uh, to that rise in support. But nonetheless, we were able to manage it out for a nice profit here on the indexes. And then let's move forward to the crude real fast here, guys.
crude. We took three positions in crude today, guys. Three positions, and um, you're going to see the, the last two positions came right before lunch. One of them scenarios where you're just right at the wrong time. But so far up until then, let's go ahead and talk about what we were looking at. We've seen the crude here selling off. Crude selling off, guys. Here's the daily on the crude. Crude opened up significantly down, guys. It was all the way down here near its lows. Whenever I took this first trade, this is about where it was. Um, and I was looking to retest the lows. I kept talking today about 92.10. 92.10 is this level right here. I wanted, whenever I got into my position, I wanted 92.10. So I'm going to show you how I got in and exactly what I was looking for moving forward. So let's move over to the actual intraday chart. And as we were chopping our way down here, sorry, as we were chopping our way down here, here's our entry here at uh, 6.55 short. What was happening is we were pushing down, pushing down all the moving averages. Everything was short here on a longer time frame. So guess what? We were just waiting. So we were waiting. We got some chop here. And then finally we got a sell-off here. Sell-off on high speed, guys. That's the key on a lot of these markets. We had a lot of speed there when we sold off. As it pulled back, I took the short at 6.55. I wrote it down. And remember what I was talking about below? I was looking for this to retest 92.10. And as you can see on the smaller time frame, we only got to 92.21. What I was doing is after I got short, I was trailing it down, ended up getting stopped out for a trail stop here at 92.30. So got short here at 6.55 for 26 ticks, trail stopped out at 20 or 92.30. And then the market decided to start to Hurry up and wait. Just chop, chop, hurry up and wait. And then all of a sudden we got pullbacks, back and forth, we didn't know what to do. Now we're starting to reverse. Things are, the pullbacks are no longer working to the downside. They're failing. As they're failing, guess what we're doing? We're ready to go back the other way. We get it back above moving averages and we're ready to start rolling. So what do we see here? We see a lot of buyers coming into the upside on this push up back here. And on this push up here, a little bit of a pullback. And, it, and once it broke out again, I just wanted to get back in line with this push that had come right back here in the, in, the, in the time frame to the upside. So what happened? It broke out. I took one pullback here at 8.15. I got minus 20. Well, I had two contracts on, so minus 10 plus 2, so minus 20. Full stop. I was like, man, I just didn't get the follow through I wanted. I took it again with confirmation at 8.20 only with one contract this time since it was a retest and I got minus five. What had happened is it pushed up about eight or eight or seven or eight ticks and then came right back down against me, which is kind of bogus. Because <laughs> look what happened right after that, guys. So this is what I call being right at the wrong time. I got a video out there on it. I actually wanted it to hold this, this minor resistance here, which is why I took these two. I really thought we were going to get a push here. So I took two chances at it, minus 20, minus 5, and then it just wanted to sell off a little bit more before it actually snapped up. So that, them things happen in trade, and we were still able to have a really nice day here. We broke even, made a tick or so on the crude, and then we had two good positions in the ES and the Russell. So all in all, not a bad, uh, not a bad day, not a great day. It was close to being a great day, but... Not a bad day. Had a really great week, so that's it for now. Um, it's Thursday. I'll be back in the live trading room on Monday. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new watching this video and you have interest in watching us do this or are interested in how we trade, come by directiontrader.com and take a trial in our live trading room. We do this day in and day out, and uh, we'd love to have you join our group. So that's it for now. Have a happy Memorial Day, everybody.